good morning students welcome to your channel uh, see guys uh, in this video i am going to explain uh, how to do the connections of a respective experiment so it is related to basic electrical engineering laboratory and whatever i am explained in this video it is applicable only for saptagiri college of engineering students those who are studying first year p cycle they have electrical lab okay only for that college so what time i am explaining it is applicable why means because each and every college the laboratory setup will be different okay some colleges the laboratory will be automatic so everything will be furnished so that is very easy to do the connection some colleges will be so transparent so like that it will be different so what i am explaining it is applicable only for saptagiri college of engineering students okay so others if you want you can uh, watch it see guys uh, first experiment measurement of current power factor and of power for different types of load banks that is incandescent lamp fluorescent lamp and led lamps this is university experiment title so how to do that experiment okay what are all required for that so obviously in order to measure power power factor of following lamps we are we obviously required those equipments lamps we required so what they given fluorescent lamp so we have taken uh, two fluorescent lamps so this one is fluorescent lamps that is called two bright and incandescent uh, lamp we required this is incandescent bulbs and this two are led bulbs you can use n number of bulbs so for simplicity so that college have taken uh, two two bulbs okay see and this is entire lamp load bank consisting of six lamps each and every lamp is operated by individual switches okay totally six lamps 1 2 3 4 5 6 all the lamps are operated by this switches internal circuit all these lamps are connected in parallel okay so now give supply to this mcb this entire uh, panel board okay this entire lamp load bank is connected to the ac supply single phase ac supply and this two are supply terminals p is called phase and n is neutral and this two are load terminals this two are load terminals this two are supply terminals see now if i connect uh, if i switch on the mcb this supply will come and available at this point now same phase is connected here and same neutral is connected here then what happened it become direct connection so then switch on all the switches so all the bulbs will glow but you are not connected any instruments to measure what is power consumed what is current carried by the load what is power factor of the load that you cannot measure if you do direct connections this phase is connected to that phase and this neutral is connected to this neutral then you cannot measure how much current is flowing in that load how much power factor how much power consumed so in order to calculate such things obviously we have to connect meters we need instruments to measure the electrical quantities so what whatever they ask us measurement of current what is required to measure current ammeter is required so i have taken one ammeter and to measure power factor what is required we required power factor meter i have taken and to measure power we have instrument called watt meter understood no why we taken this instruments to measure the quantities whatever they ask in the question see uh, in that ammeter will have three terminals first one is common terminal other one will other two will be current range terminals so another terminal will be 1 ampere okay now i have taken 2 ampere load means if you apply more more loads if your current you will get the more than 1 ampere and watt meter consisting of two coils one is called current coil other one is called potential coil watt meter have four terminals m l c v m is called mains l is called load c common v voltage similarly power factor meter also have four terminals m l c v okay mains load common voltage then volt meter okay common in our lab volt meter will have three terminals okay common terminal two voltage terminals another terminal is 600 volt don't connect 600 volt 
since we are working on single phase AC supply, you select 300 volt range. Okay, got it. So let we can do. Uh, let I will do how to do the connections and how to switch on the loads and how to take readings. Okay, look at here. See this sine wave indicates it is AC instrument. Okay, so it is analog voltmeter display calibration is there. Analog voltmeter, analog ammeter, and analog wattmeter. But this wattmeter will measure both AC and DC power and power factor meter. Let how to do the connections. Please observe carefully. Okay. See phase. Phase of the supply terminal once MCB is on. Okay. But while doing connections, don't connect this uh, power cord to the supply. You don't connect this power cord to the supply. Let do the connections and get checked by the uh, teacher. Okay. Lab instructor or uh, professor. Once it is okay means then you can connect to the supply. Then you can switch on the MCB and then take readings. While doing the connection, supply should be off. So assume that supply is off, not at all connected. This lamp load bank not at all connected to the supply. Let do the connection. Phase is connected to common. Phase is connected to common of ammeter. First do like this. Then ammeter 2 ampere range. Ammeter 2 ampere range is connected to M. Ammeter 2 ampere range is connected to M. In, don't short M and M because inside current coil will be there. Ammeter already is connected to M. Then L of wattmeter, L of wattmeter is connected to M of power factor meter. L of wattmeter, wattmeter L is connected to M of power factor meter. Then L of power factor meter connected to lamp load P connected to lamp load of phase terminal. Okay. See, earlier what you done, you connect P to P directly. Okay. You cannot measure electrical qualities, voltage, power, everything you cannot measure. See, now this point and this point are joined through the instruments. Okay. Ammeter, wattmeter current coil and power factor current coil. All these are connected in what? Series. Okay. So now, neutral, neutral is connected to voltage point. You connect neutral to voltage point. See in power factor meter, there are three voltage range. 150, and 300 and 600. You select 150 voltage. Okay, select 150 voltage range. And same, that 150 voltage range, you connect to two watt meter 150 volts. Same 150. Neutral is connected to 150. That 150 is connected to watt meter 150. Okay. And same, this watt meter 150 volt V point is connected to the neutral. Is connected to the neutral. Now connect back to the neutral. Understood? So now, finally, you should short M and C. So short MC terminals. Short M and C. MC should be shorted. Means, if you shorted, both current and voltage coil will get energized. So then it will pointable deflects on the calibrated scale due to deflecting torque. Next again short M and C. Short M and C in power factor meter. So this is the detailed connection. Do like this, it is perfect correction. Okay. So finally, I need to know how much voltage is in the circuit. So for that you need to connect voltmeter. See phase is connected to common of voltmeter. Okay, common terminal of voltmeter and 300 volt and 300 volt and 300 volt is connected to neutral of the supply okay got it once everything is done okay you call the professor or lab instructor so for checking the connections if they said yes you have done correctly then you can connect to this lamp load power card to the supply lamp load power card so one wire will be there, okay, power cord. That power cord you can put it on the plug, okay. So it will receive supply, then switch on the MCV. So how to take readings? Now initially the loads are off. The initially the loads are off. So here one switch for incandescent bulb, LED bulb and fluorescent bulb. And incandescent LED and fluorescent bulb. So close the switch, one of the bulb will operate. Once bulb glows, 
So it will show a meter reading, watt meter reading, and power factor meter reading. Note down all these readings. Okay. So like that, whatever the loading combinations given in the equation, apply those loading combinations and note down all the readings. That's it. So then, how to write tabular column? See, tabular column depends on what are all the instruments you have used in the circuit. Volt meter used that should be in tabular column. Ammeter should be in tabular column. Watt meter should be in tabular column. Cos pi should be in tabular column. Then final power V i cos pi. Okay, these are the major things must be required in tabular column. So, what is other parameter? What combinations you are applying? How you are going to take all these readings for different loading combinations? So, first case you are applying one incandescent. And one LED. Like that, you can write whatever the combinations you want, or whatever the given in the question that you can write it. Okay, got it. So this is the tabular column. So don't think that tabular column is difficult. Tabular column is written. What you are tabulating? You are, what you are tabulating? Readings only now. What are the readings you are observing while doing the experiment? Ammeter readings, watt meter, and power factor meter readings, and also voltage readings. Okay. So understood. So guys, I hope uh, you understood this, how to uh, do the connections for this particular experiment. Okay. So thank you. Have a nice day. So in the next video, I will do it for other experiments. Bye-bye. Take care.